What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel, and we are back at it with the SAT Khan Academy series. And we are on to center spread and shape of distributions, foundations level. We're working through all the topics, hopefully before this March SAT. That's the plan, so we're doing multiple a day. And if you're joining along and you're preparing for the math portion of this test, this is exactly where you need to be and what you want to be watching to shore up your skills. All right, without further ado, I'm seeing these questions for the first time. We're going to solve them in real time. No timer, but we're going to do our thing in real time. You're going to see me problem solve on the fly, and I will explain as I go along. That's going to be the best way for you to learn and understand these concepts. All right, without further ado, let's begin in three, two, one. Let's go. All right. We got these values. What is the median? So let's talk about median. They're going to ask about median mode, mean, all that stuff. So what does median mean? Median sounds like middle, and that's what it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure all of these are organized from least to greatest, which they are not. So let's do that. So we're going to start with 46 first. Then we're going to go to 53. And normally I don't like to cross off values you know, from the real question because if you need to erase them, it's a pain. But just bear with me here. Uh, 53, then we got 66. And then we've got 82. Then we've got 98. And then we've got 105. Okay. So these are the six values from least to greatest. What is the middle value? Well, there's an even number of values, so there, there's actually two middles. So how do we find the median here? It's the middle of the middles, meaning the average of the middle. So we'll add them together. That gives us 148, I think, divided by two should be 74, which means B is the winner. Let's check it out. Boom, nailed it, next. A census was taken in 11 African countries. For each country, the amount of the population that had access to water from the water supply industry was computed and recorded to the nearest 5%. 5 uh, this amount was expressed as a percentage of the total population and plotted. So this would be 30%, this would be 45 50%, 70%, whatever. According to the dot plot, what is the range of these percentages? So what is range? Range is simply the distance uh, or the difference of the least and greatest value. So my least value is 30. That represents two 30s, but that's 30 nonetheless. My greatest is 100. What's the difference between 100 and 30? It is 100 minus 30 is 70. So that is how you calculate range. 70 for the win. Let's check it out. Done. Next. Here we go. Now we get to another uh, category, mean. What is the mean of numbers? So this one I'm going to really recommend using the calculator. Uh, so we're going to pop it up here in a second. Let me just remember these numbers. 42, 44, 46, 40. Oh, it's nice. Oh, actually, this one's super easy to do mentally. I'm actually, I, I already know the mean is going to be 46. It's not the, but that happens to be the median. But ha in this case, the median is the mean. But that happens sometimes, not always. Uh, you know what? I'm going to add it up by hand. Never mind. So normally I would just plug this into a calculator. You want to be a little careful, but this one's pretty easy to add up because check it out. 44 plus 46, that's 90. 42 plus 48, that's 90. So I'm just doing a strategic adding to make it easier to do it mentally or kind of written out. And then we got 50. Add these up. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 5 is 23. Then we got 230 divided by the amount of values that there are, which is 5. Quick shortcut for dividing by five, move the decimal over once and double the value. These are mental math shortcuts that aren't essential because again, you can use your calculator. I'm just doing it for fun. But divided by five, long story short, it's 46. So if you do that arithmetic, B is the winner, done. Last one, here we go. Uh, we got a number of distinct languages and these different archives. Okay, linguistics and libraries and several archives, okay. The table gives the number of distinct languages referenced in each archive. What is the range, again? least, which looks like three, to greatest, which is 258, and it's the difference of the two. 258 minus three, let's see. Eight minus three is five, then we go five and two. 255 for the win, let's check it out. And boom, that's how we do it. Another topic in the bank. We will be back tomorrow with more from Khan Academy. We got another banging video as well that's coming out tomorrow that is all about how to best prepare or the best resource to prepare for the math portion of the digital SAT. So be on the lookout for that. I'm doing a thorough analysis. It's going to be really cool, really fun, really excited about it. Almost done making it. And that's it, guys. Hope you guys like the series. If you do, click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. And if you want to check out 
our digital SAT course, which we have partnered with the SATcrashcourse.com. Uh, we've made an amazing video product that's about to be released pretty soon. We've also got, they've also got 20 practice tests, which is more than any other company. They're amazing quality, so I'd highly recommend that if you are on this SAT journey and taking the digital SAT in this next coming few months. So anyways, that is that. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I will see you in the next 